Rev Walter on Prosperity Insights, now on Hot FM. All righty, so you see, there is another angle, but a good friend of mine, I can't mention his name, he didn't ask me to do so, uh, called me earlier today and said, very lengthy conversation around this, and uh, I jotted down notes based on our conversation. But essentially he said, we need to understand that this new generation, this new generation, essentially people between the age of 21 and, well, no one was telling me that 26, but I think it goes all the way to about 28, 29. But the younger, the more, the more, the more they're into this, right? Yes. Yeah. So basically 19, 20, 21. And normally one of the signs, there are a number of factors. So I'm going to talk more about the ladies, although there's the guys as well. But let's talk about, <clears throat> so essentially with guys, it's your players. Now, these players, it depends also on their age. Okay, these are guys who will go after to my ladies once they get what they want, which is basically to sleep with them. Then they, they what's the word? They, they ghost them. They ghost yeah, them. Yeah, they ghost them, you know. They and vanish. Then, yeah, they vanish. But, but, but then it depends also because those guys also tend to look at the kind of ladies they're trying to target. If it's, a, if it's a, a lady that's a bit set up, you know, because once these ladies hit their 30s, they go into some interesting biology. And so it changes their thinking a little bit and then they change. So I'll get to that. So when they get to those, then they decide, okay, do I want to just be a guy that lives off, off women or do I want to do something for myself? So if they're the ones who want to live off women, then what they do is they just identify a lady who is who's doing well normally one that's been seriously jilted gone through divorce some kind of mess in a relationship so she's in a very bad re, uh, situation as far as her psychology is concerned she's very dependent she's unconfident and this guy just comes and fills in all the the to my issues just fulfills all the needs mm. in there and then in the process also sorry to be a bit blunt he also fulfills duties which panda so when he does his job properly, this guy woman is hooked. So from there now he can live off her and he can support his, his ka, ka chick that he likes. Mm. Yeah, but then he, he lives off that. So, so it's the whole Mario thing. But the interesting thing about those type of guys is that they are a certain type of guy. But a guy who is intelligent, solid, going somewhere, they can't accept to be dating an older woman and, and having that woman support him. They, they, that, being kept, just the idea of being kept you uh, know what I mean, in yeah? a woman's house. No, they won't do that. But for these other ones who don't have anything to do, that, that, that basically just like looking sharp and, 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 and just chilling. Yeah, those, those who are lazy, basically. They are the ones who love the idea of finding a chi woman. And usually they are very good at identifying the woman that is actually going through serious emotional bankruptcy. She's, she's been messed up. And then he comes and supplies all that. But that's the kind on that, on that side. But those are really, they still don't really ghost. They only ghost when they get a, a, a higher catch. So if, if they were going, if they're dating somebody who is a manager, and then they catch a car. A higher one now she's director level uh they ghost the manager <laughs> <laughs> they ghost the manager they go for the director then if they can play their cards right then from director they get to the ceo they ghost the director so they are those type of guys and uh they but they you when you check them out all they do is just chill you know spend weekends with the guys at granddaddy's just drive around in the in the woman's cars and, and, and use her money to date the, to my younger ones to compensate for dealing, for, 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 for going out with a hag. Sorry. But <laughs> 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 when I come back, we're getting to the women. <laughs> Let me give this back to you. <laughs> All right, Rev. Let's we can get to the headlines. Do stay tuned. Easy noodles just got bigger. Now available in 120 grams. Our eagle first took flight in 1964 with one mission to take Zambia to the world and bring the world to Zambia. Our eagle flew students abroad and brought them back as skilled scholars to contribute to the development of our then young nation. Our eagle couriered gifts and postcards 
across the globe to let our loved ones know that no matter how far apart we were, we were still thinking about them. Our ego was adored across the continent and was the pride of a nation. Our ego has once again spread her wings and is back in full flight, soaring the skies. Zambia Airways, the new wings of Africa. The news headlines every second hour are sponsored by Swan Insurance Zambia. For you, for them, for life. Swan, for life. The news headlines, the Bank of Zambia says an initial payment of up to 500,000 kocha per deposit account will be made from tomorrow, 26 April to 10th May 2024 to depositors of Invest Trust Bank PLC in possession. Zambia today joined the rest of the world to commemorate World Malaria Day, which falls on the 25th of April annually. About 3,000 farmers in Lundazi have benefited from the Total Land Care Accelerated Innovation Delivery Initiative project. And in international news, that disgraced Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein's 2020 rape conviction in New York has been overturned on the basis that he did not receive a fair trial. And in sports news, the reigning African Boxing Union bantamweight champion David Marley has ascended to the esteemed position of number 36 in the latest rankings released by the prestigious World Boxing Council. Ends the headlines. Zambia's award-winning and most trusted news and entertainment provider. Consistently delivering unrivaled world-class radio 24-7, 365. We are Hot FM. Um, we need you to read all of this in the next 30 seconds. Is, is that okay? Yeah, all of it? Do they really offer all of this? You ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's give it a go. All the goals, flashes and moments. All of Rashford, Salah and Saka. All 380 games, all in HD. Available in all the languages you want, on all the devices you enjoy. Choose the bouquet you want from all the options available. The Premier League, all on DSTV. Is, is, is that all? One expert, the path to success is a high-stakes game. If you accept its rules and take a step, the winnings may exceed your expectation. Play with One expert. Register with promo code DAVIDO260 and get a chance to receive up to 300% bonus on your first deposit. Use the modem One expert mobile app to stay connected with thousands of sport events every day. One expert is regulated by the Gaming Board of Zambia. No for person under the age of 18 terms and conditions apply. This Easter, enjoy amazing saving deals with the Choppy's Easter Golden Eggs Galore. Win a 60-second Find a Golden Egg Trolley Dash and a share of 1 million kwacha worth of shopping vouchers by buying any of the participating brands advertised in the Choppy's Easter promotion. The Choppy's Easter Golden Eggs Galore promotion is valid from the 25th of March to the 5th of May 2024 in all Choppy stores countrywide. Terms and conditions apply. Choppy's, great value for your money. An awesome combination of music and talk radio. Radio after six. From 18 to 21 hours. Rev Walter on Prosperity Insights. Now on Hot FM. Ghosting and the phenomenon of hypergamy, the players and the game. And today I was dealing with the issue of the game. I was dealing with the players. We were dealing with the men who do ghost the women. But it's usually, there's the Mario types and then there's the ones who are just players. Like just What's going on over there? So, so they're just players, right? And they just play. So we've got that group. And then we've got the other group that are actually, you know, uh, who, who actually, you know, just make it a habit generally as a rule to, 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 to just play around with women because they were messed up. But that's not really who I'm targeting to because today I want to talk about the women. You see this idea of hypergamy. Let's begin with hypergamy first. Uh, brothers, if you are listening, get your friends. Tag your friends. If you're following on Facebook things, I'm seeing you guys. Tag your friends because I'm about to reveal some serious data here. So if you're listening by Facebook, thank you for joining us. 
I'm going to release some serious data here that will help some brothers because some brothers don't get this. Okay, so first and foremost, the first truth about women, and my sister is here. How are you, Mansa? I'm fine, really. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never, but she's sitting listening. She's a wonderful sister. We always <laughs> chit chat. But here's the first truth about sisters that we need to understand. The sooner we understand this as brothers, we will be more at peace because these brothers always get into this. You know, especially this new generation, because we've got a messed up generation. You know, this entitlement is both sides of the of the coins. Huh? It uh, is. It yeah. Is. So it both is. the guys are entitled, the women are entitled, the guys are dependent, the women are dependent. So it's a messed up generation. And then many of them, because they come from homes that are messed up, there's a lot of dysfunction in these homes. There's a lot of homes that uh, don't have original fathers, original mothers. They are like stepchildren. They're, there's some, all sorts of dynamics. Then there's, of course, the famous single parent houses as well. Oh, yes. So there's a lot of mess, if you like. Then add to that toxic parents also. Then you get a really good boil now. Because <laughs> the toxic parents are just the parents that are impossible to deal with, right? Mm. So throw that and mix it together. You have some really dysfunctional people. So when they get into the universities where they are technically free, some of them started in, in, in school, but they really get free at uni. When they go to uni, first you must remember, women are already hypergamous. That word means they marry up. Women don't marry down. Hmm? You guys, listen to me. Women do not marry down. It's just normal. And there are four criteria women have. I'm coming to the ghosting. But let's first deal with the criteria women use. Criteria number one, women are attracted to to influential people influential people so meaning these people have social standing if a person has social standing that the woman admires they are going to want that person mm. yes that's why the musicians are popular even if the guy looks like he fell down a, a, a tree and hit every tree coming down so every branch coming down to the bottom and flat nosed at the bottom <laughs> Like the guy has nothing to look at. But because he's influential mm. and because people like him mm. and because he's popular, ah, the women love that. So the women, you know, it's only when they are in their teens that's when they are like moved by looks. Oh, yes. But once they just get into uni and realize how tough it is to live with need of, the need of money and the need to be recognized, the, the, a good number of them want a man who has influence. So this is the first category. So there are four different categories. So not all of them want these categories. Others are moved by different things. But number one, it's influence. Number two is education. So depending on if this lady is the type that's moved by academics, she'll want to marry somebody that's academically superior to her. Mm. Mm, so that she there's that kind of dynamic like you know my guy is the guy i go to he's very intelligent academia the, hey, academia they won't marry a chikopo chikopo yai so they don't like chikopos who when you talk issues related to a field you, you are blank nope number three women like confident guys with personal charisma mm, so it could be influential with social standing but could be personal charisma you know when the guy talks hey sh the guy can rap, he talks. He's got the gab. Mm? So they like such type of guys. And confident guys. In fact, Marios, that's what they are. Marios are confident. They know what to tell the Super woman. Super confident. Super men. confident. And then dresses well. Oh, yes. Yeah, and he's cool. He smells nice. We, you know, there's a type of woman that likes those kind of guys. He's cool, dresses well, well groomed, cultured. Ah, they love those type of men. So they want to marry into someone at that level. And then the most obvious one, with money. They want a man with money because at the end of the day, women also look for security. This is something that women think about all the time. Ah, I want a place where I can be comfortable, where my, uh, my husband can take care of my needs. That's what they want. They don't want going to suffer. The only time women will suffer is if they believe the guy either is potentially influential, potentially going to go somewhere with his education, or potentially confident, meaning he's got vision. Mm. Then if the, if the guy has those things, the woman won't mind even if she, he's got no money because she sees this guy's got vision. This guy's going somewhere. Those are the type of men, you know, women... Eh? Those are the type of men women want. But the money is usually the big deal. When all is said and done, especially Ututuma nails and hair and eyelashes types, 
with makeup like uh, you can even draw on the makeup because it's so thick between mm. her and her real skin. <laughs> Those types. The ones who post that my pictures with filters like they're going to, like the filter is as if I don't know. You know the filters, eh? I know them. You know they look like a plastic AI robot. Those, those ones. With two my things flashing on the picture. <laughs> those type of girls, they want people with money because they want somebody who is going to meet their needs. I've, I've heard the ladies even saying, me, I have a standard. Me, I have a standard, except me, if the guy doesn't, me, I like my life very comfortable. I like comfortable living. So I'm not ready to deal with a guy. If, if, if I can ask a guy for 100 kwacha and it's a story, I don't need such a guy. I need a guy who can spend, you know, who can, who can give me my drinks. And so these two my ladies, because of their experiences, based on their hurting past, because all of this comes from hurting past. Mm. So when they come into these dynamics, they're just really, what can I get most out of these guys? So let's go into the ghosting. So first and foremost, understand that these women are... Um, Aha, uh -huh, very good. <laughs> I like this guy's comment. Miles Daka says, we also have ministers and MPs who take this route immediately. They hit the echelon of power. Of course. You see, one of the things about these two my ladies, what they did, when they go into these schools, they immediately realize that they have an asset. This asset is their beauty. So now they accentuate that beauty and then they use that as a key to, to kind of determine the what we call pecking power. So they look at who they can now bring into their net because they start noticing all the guys are like after them. So they say, ha. Now remember, they came from a hurting past. Mm. So they are not really interested in any close relationship. They're just interested in what can I get out of this guy? And can he be so high that he can secure me financially? I don't care if he's sleeping around. In fact, this new generation, the, a number of them even know that he's got a wife at home. So... They don't care. They just want their money for the weekend. They can go chill. They get a nice car. They get their hair done. They get their nails done. They get the latest clothes. They, they, they go shop at all the expensive places in Osaka. Go to the clubs that are expensive and look sharp. That's what they're interested in. So in the process, they have to gauge the my dudes to see which one is which. So normally, <clears throat> these types have like a list of them. So about five, six, seven of these guys. Uh, depending so you know this is the serious one this is the one who's a player also this is the one who's, got, who's married this is the one so that's so they got all these and then they basically are gauging to see who can give them the most money now it was made worse by the previous regime because in the previous regime we had all those cadres with with careless money as i call it you know the ones who who had so much money that they would literally go stand in in the center of the market and just start throwing them to my hundred quarters you know those ones oh yeah yeah uh -huh. so they attracted these to my girls these girls made sure they got into the circle so they can milk those brothers of their money and they did a very good job and what they do now let's go into it so when they want to ghost you they have four criteria that they use and this is a test to determine you see and what most brothers don't understand and this is where they miss it what brothers don't understand is that these guys, all of you guys, are basically being tested to see who's got the, what do I call it, the backbone to be a real man. You see, men must pursue women, true, but men must have pride. You, you can't be, you know, like a kayoyo whereby one, <clears throat> the lady does one thing already all over the place. So there's a first term which my good friend was talking about. He calls, he calls it the psychological barrier. It's called the weakness factor. They want to determine, are you a real guy who knows what's going on? Are you one of those to my needy chaps? So they want to gauge that. So they will gauge that by just giving you some ghosting. Just to see how you behave. Like they'll pretend they're not interested in you. Or they'll touch you a bit and then let you go. Then touch you a bit and let you go. And then they just want to put you on that kind of level where you become literally a bumbling idiot. So when she wants pizza she just sends a message hey handsome now what hello <laughs> <laughs> hey i missed you you've been so quiet bro i've been busy but i was trying to call you the last three days you've not been answering oh i've got exams that's why i couldn't she was with other dudes i've got exams that's why i couldn't be in touch anyway it's really nice to hear from you so how's work oh we're going well then of course being the typical needy idiot then you go straight into so when can i see you then she says well uh, let me check my diary hold on there's nothing to check she says how today so the day is thursday right she says how about tuesday next week okay meantime 
Listen, I'm so hungry. What do you want? A pizza. How much? 500. Okay. What <laughs> do idiot? <laughs> and then from there she ghosts you come Tuesday she, you are calling and calling and you know why she just knows you are in that position my friend you are in for it oh, yeah. because you'll be calling she'll even be showing her friends look at this ch- guy he, th- she, he thinks he can have this ah. but boy, boy we needed to do that outing come Mazula. remember we needed some drinks Hi, hey so, but like, just, just, just tell him that you, you want some extra money. The exams, son. Hi. Eh, then, then now she gets back to you after after twenty seven missed calls, right? Twenty eighth call. <laughs> then she gets back to you and says, "Oh, handsome, so sorry. I was whatever. I need to pay something real quick. Do you have a five hundred? But you didn't talk to me." Please, I thought we have understood this thing. Remember, I told you I'm doing exams. And some of them, you know, they've got like a nice voice, so she can even call you. No, anyway, confused, especially if it's these Vima CEOs who are going through a midlife crisis, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, what they tend to do, they're in their 40s, they're going through serious midlife crisis, and they hook one of these to my manipulators. So, what they do is they'll call you. Normally, CEO Sachok a meeting because he's handling a very serious meeting. He'll say, mm, Excuse me, guys, I have an emergency. <laughs> <laughs> my foot emergency my foot at your kapanja hey listen babes i'm in a bit of a situation please send me that 500 i told you about uh, but remember we had agreed to meet it. yes we'll meet we'll meet don't worry 18 hours uh let's meet at um vida cafe sorry for mentioning this vida cafe at at, at east park okay i'll be there all right so please send it please send it now thank you naka emoji watuma kaya ka smiling thing Batuma, now Vamdara, idiot Atuma 500. From there, 18 hours. Go, 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 nine. <laughs> and you know what I find so funny? I've Flight mode. Of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to places like that where you see the guy just sitting there. He's like, not the guy, chi guy. He's like, ah, this man. Yeah, you here for a business meeting? Yeah, I'm here for. I'm just waiting for some ex, some some. Ah, uh, waiting my foot. Kuribe. Come scanner, come on, Kazik until 20 hours. Mdala. Meantime, at home, they are calling. Are you coming? At, I'll be coming soon. I'm just winding up a meeting. Can't you make a clever girl? Busy ghosting to kingdom come. And so, you see, that's the psychological barrier. They're looking for your weakness. And if you exhibit that weakness, you are finished. Number two, they are looking for what we call excessive neediness. So if they if they do the kayoyo thing and then they they say hey sweetie wa vomela futi then we could ghosting her for two days then futi we could tumira hey sweetie now you are vomela monga yo they realize ah is very needy this one so they will utilize you they will squeeze you to the last bit and they are very good at this and what they are doing you are not the only guy by the way they are doing this to about five six different guys mm. just gauging to see who's the one they think is worthwhile. So, 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 so the same way the Mario, you know, moves from <laughs> manager to director to CEO, they also do the same. Mm. These two, my girls, have no qualms about dropping you like a hot potato and going for your colleague if he's high. She'll do it one time without thinking twice about yeah. you. You even feel bad. I have heard a lot of stuff. Oh, it happens all the time. Number three, inability to meet her needs. So you see, they're very entitled, these two, my ones. Me, this is what I want. This is my standard. This is my life. If you can't manage it, you know, just it's better to VC the child. Now, because you see, the challenge normally we have is a lot of these, we have these what I call the academic types, the good boy types who who went through the Hoka process and rose up the ranks and and now they are flying as CEOs or whatever. They are up there. But emotional intelligence, there is no. Mm. Yeah, there is no. So first they don't nivo. That's the word. Sorry, guys, if I'm hurting you, but this is therapy. If you are listening to me and you are one of these, you need some serious deliverance. What I'm doing now is helping you to be delivered. I'm sure even now somebody will be like, ah, so that baby, I think that's what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, Piwe. <laughs> Wake up, Piwe. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Don't be so gullible. Hmm? 
Bagufaka ku wire bango ku sobeleza monga ka yoyo back and forth back and forth back and forth. So one many of these guys they go through this process and then they get to the top, right? But in Benz a good guy, wife at home, kids. So sana sobeleko. Then akuma na ko ako. First ka one ka monga ka ya. Then ka nunkira bwino. Si si zo. Monga muzungu. Kavala na ma contacts so she's got green eyes. <laughs> Maybe those are real eyes, I don't know. Mdala <laughs> confess. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm talking these things because I know we were there. We know what these girls would do. Mdala confused. I'm at I'm in cafe, I'm stuck. I'm coming. All the way to our cafe. By MD. You're going for business, whatever. Yeah, we have a situation. Situation. Kwa even a situation. I end up kunga kam kaz. Can say stuck with cafe bafka kuja it changes into a phone call home. Uh, uh, Vashi, Vana, sorry, Vana John, I won't be coming because we have a situation, Kuno, so we have extended our trip. Extended the trip, Kuti, Ali Chapina Kamkazi, Kuloj Uko, Kafue. Because Kanve, Kafuna Kasove. So Kakafka Kujana Keve, these two ones are very clever. They have three, four friends of theirs. Oh, I hope you don't mind. I got my friends with me. Now I'm done. No problem. And then meantime, now the Mdala Lauka is confused because he really wants the action now. So depending, because there are two types of girls. There are the ones who keep it, keep you at a leash forever. And then there are those who know how to utilize that. So what they'll do, some of them they'll say, but I'm with my friends. How do we, how can I be with you when I'm with my friends? Oh, but you can do them to go. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway so these are the four things huh? and and then you know the fourth sorry that was the third thing inability to meet her needs so she's basically checking her, heck, her pecking order so the fourth one is conditioned into narcissism from social media validation this is the one that actually makes these girls even more horrible because what happens is you know they are very beautiful lovely lovely girls and so you know they post their my pictures they do whatever they do and i notice a lot of these ladies nowadays i don't know i don't understand the idea behind it but i i know because of my studies they they post pictures which is this somebody trying to be sexy and showing leg or is she being deliberately sexual is this empowerment but why would she be you know, exposing our curves. And I'm like, for what? Mm. And you know, the problem is that we've got all those guys as usual. I think too much porn. So they, they see those things. Like, oh, wow, wow. You look lovely. Wow, wow, wow. And just this girl feeds off that, right? It validates her because they are looking for validation. But even if the guy is not validating her, she can go and she can be a wet dream on social media. And there are guys that will literally be drooling over and saying, wow, 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 wow. Like 700 copy, you know, messages. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> you look nice. Ah, chirimo. What? You know. Yeah. And so they get validation from that. So because of that, they are further in, il disillu they're, they're in this illusional state of their own. They're like in a bubble. They're not in reality anymore. And you see, because of the wows, so you know that they get tomfied, right? Oh, yeah. So you know what they start doing? Now they start doing if they start pushing the envelope like how much can i get away with <laughs> you know on socials before facebook says this is nudity <laughs> and ban it right like what can you get away with mm. and you see it with female musicians you see it with so-called influencers so many of them will post pictures that don't make sense like we have very very what's the word we've got very empowered solid grounded model role model women who are decently dressed modest and very very attractive but very modest and they still get validated they still are powerful as women who don't have to use their sexuality but then we've got the other ones who just use their sexuality to add museum so these types also they are the ones who inspire these to my to my to my leeches these to my vampires right mm. and then the to my vampires now pull it off and then they use that as a means to say you know what you mean nothing to me. I've got 500 guys who are drooling over me right now. And then when you try to correct, they even post an even more annoying picture just to get at you, to show you I am valuable. 
So here's the key now. So if, if this type ghosts you, here's the solution, guys. And then we'll open the phone lines. I need to hurry up. Here's the solution to dealing with ghosters and these two types of women. If you're, mis if you're unfortunate enough to be a guy that falls for one of these two babes. Because we're all human. But the truth is she's got 50 guys after and she's got no morals because she doesn't care. So she just uses people. And if she sees you've got nothing, she treats you like trash. Because they are, the fact that the, they can ghost you for five days, get back to you, ghost you for ten days, get back. And then you're also like a fool just at green. Then you know you're really, really, you know, you're under her spell. Mm. So here are the things you do. Num three of them. Very, very serious. Number one, cut them off. The secret to a ghoster is to ghost them back. <laughs> it's just that the problem is guys are enchanted. So ghosting back the one you're admiring, ah, we went. <laughs> it's very rough okay so most people don't have the capacity to go somebody they're in love with so to speak so but you know what you need to be you need you need to have what i call that capacity to demonstrate that you won't beg and i don't mean this for somebody that you love each other this this i'm talking purely about players the type of women who will do this you know them uh, so this means this is why again it's very dangerous to go after these to my what i call influential everybody's after them in place type women because most times unless she's grounded and solid she will mess you up mm. yes so cut them off just block did it <laughs> i used to have a friend of mine say, if she just gives me a grip block did it so even if i want to call her later because i'm confused I realize, oh, I don't have a number. I've deleted it. So it's a very therapeutic way of dealing with that. But of course, the ultimate, and you know, remember, you've blocked the number, right? So even if she tries to message, you are just not going to see the messages. Because these two guys, they are very clever. If you delete the number, but you don't block it, they will send you, hi, handsome. We're checking, it's the same one. And remember, you're in love with them, eh? So they'll get you back again. And then number two, move on. Move on. Move on. And I'm really speaking to a number of you guys here. If, if you are one of those that's the senior MD, CEO type, just go back to your wife. Eh? You want to date girls who are the age of your daughters. Hmm? There are many men who've actually bumped into their daughters <laughs> and like a girl in the same setup. No, that's very shameful, sorry to say. Unless you're just one of those guys that doesn't care because there are guys who don't care. But... If you're one of those that cares about your, your name and your morality and your ethics, you cannot be dating someone who's going to be bumping into your daughter. That, that, that just sucks. So, but anyway, the point is move on. If you're the married type, go back to your wife. If there are problems with your wife, I won't say the next words. Work on them. <laughs> so I've changed what I wanted to say. Work on them and make them stand. But if you are the type who's just being used, move on. So not just cutting off by blocking, but move on. Let them know that you're the guy. You're not the begging type, especially for that type of woman. And then la uh, lastly, don't be tempted to respond when they come back because they love doing that. They, they like after, after two weeks, we're on a Z. Ah, what do you want? So Palasta Kutumina using the friends line. Okay, Chape. Hey, handsome. I notice I can't reach you anymore. You just cut. That's the key. Just cut. Now somebody on social media saying, mm, but if Bush and Pony, Bush and Mum Tima, Mula Paper. Yeah, but Chalwe is saying, that's deep ghoster, ghoster. That's right. The only way out with such things is to cut them off. And you know, the funny thing about, here's what I want you guys to know about so called love. I just want to just go a bit deep into this and then we get the calls. It's love is basically the real the, the real love is different from this whatever people call love when they meet an, a person and they like them and all that. First of all, that's just butterflies. It's infatuation. It's got nothing to do with love. Whatever that you, you know, those feelings when you see them, man. So what you know that that's just emo. It's emotions. It's 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 very shallow. There's no real love there. And what you have to understand is that whatever you're feeling are just hormones. They are thoughts. That's what I want you to know, you guys. Those are just thoughts. By the way, that's the same story for women as well, right? 
if that guy has been making you go crazy just know those are just thoughts and emotions and because they are thoughts and emotions two things happen number one they go and number two you can change them you can change them if you choose to the problem is a lot of people because of seriously messed up backgrounds where they have no confidence and self-esteem they really think like i'll never find someone like this one so they are so messed up with their background they think oh my god you need jackpot let me just try my best to deal with this one ah, be a man hmm? cut them off even the bible says <laughs> let me quote the bible now <laughs> What's a heavy laughing? Yes, there's a verse in the Bible. <laughs> Let's hear it, Rev. <laughs> it says, if your eye causes you to sin, chop it off. For it is better to enter the kingdom with one eye than with both eyes to be in hell. If your limbs cause you to sin, chop them off. Your hand, your leg, just cut them off. For it's better to enter lame and maimed into the kingdom than to be your full body in hell. For me, Pursuing a woman that doesn't want you and she's ghosting you and playing you about like a yo-yo for me, that's being in hell. Just chop them off, forget about them. Mm -hmm. Remember, women do this to feed their own egos. These, this type of women. I'm talking about a very specific type of woman. I'm not talking about nice women like my wife. No. My wife is a lovely, lovely, solid, solid lady. Very different kind of woman. When I mean that, I've been married to her for 13 years, dated her for three years before that, so 16 years together. Ah, well, she's a very solid woman. Different type of woman. But there are these to my girls. Nightmare made in hell. Designed to stress guys. That's why these guys are killing these women. <laughs> it's the same stress. So get rid of those people. Like we send, they will send you to jail for nothing. They will cause you to destroy your life for nothing. Do not be connected to them. All right, let's allow the calls. Let's get people to call. <laughs> well, it looks like we're not we're not gonna run the number tonight, Riff. <laughs> let's just get straight to it. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you're through to prosperity insights. Hypergamy uh -huh. no, no, and no, ghosting. How are you? Marco, how are you doing? <laughs> oh Marco, how are you, man? Thank you. Uh, but the other gentleman there. It's not a gentleman, it's a lady. Oh, you mean me? Suspend me. All the programs at Hot FM should be bringing this 24 7 <laughs> for the next three months. <laughs> eh? Uh -huh. breakfast. Here's the announcement get the pen and paper right now. Mm -hmm. So, here, the president Karufianya making a declaration on the hot media, whatever, from today onward. <laughs> This program should be on hot, uh, hot breakfast show. Is it? From, yes, from 06 to 12 hours. Muka, the, last, the rest of the program. Mukau is even a peasy and crows. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I, I think that's a Timberana. No, that's a serious fair up. I think Tingareke is a suicide. I'm telling you. Go for so Kasara. Hey, I think vampire is a better way. I think. Have you ever come across Quiz Paki lunchtime 11 12? My high rocks could you imagine? Me, my own, I'm down at Tum Popo, Popo, Tungo, Choka Choka, Tum Popo. Hey, at Bango, I can be the way you go to Pam Romanza, Mangana Sot. That's a very deal. At where, where devil can't reach, he sends a woman. Always wins. Yeah. Always she wins Mdala. That's why no. secret agencies <laughs> secret agencies use women for precisely that reason. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Honest, this is really helping our topic. If only can just like channel much like you know, it's really helping. Just that maybe you know some topics. It's rare. I want to have one for my radio stations. Mm. That's why the problem is one. If maybe you can just extend it to some uh, maybe platforms. And like anyway, I'm not a social media person. The only social media that I'm using is WhatsApp. I okay. hear you. It's only WhatsApp. The rest, I suspended for my own. I think yes. because I know a kind of person I am. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> yeah, I tried. If you don't know how fast it's done, I think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. So, ah, I'm not feeling I'm as I but bowling can shine. You can't. Oh, did it? I said no. Did it? Out. You know, I did it at least. 
Well, Mr. Did it in England, don't back in here. Catch no communication. I want to hear the numbers. If you say you open up from the time to watch that day, I don't want to believe I'm asking for one thousand. Uh, you stop to even go. Even can you be a very book? Wow, yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so okay. please, please pick up. This program is really like a very important program. It may sound to be like joking and whatnot, but trust me, someone is getting to help you right now as well speaking. Because uh, it's a serious topic, like you are touching things that are very valid. Mm. This is what we call building. I hear you. I urge you guys to like, you know, just put more fun on it because really this is helping. Mm. Make one realize. But also, um, even this my sugar daddies and whatnot. Mm. Also, um, what I said was beginning, like, you know, these problems, they always start from somewhere. When it's at the very, you know, uh, very tender stage, mm. we skip that part. We always want to come to the solution, which you can't solve as a problem when you don't know where it started from. Agreed. So this is the problem that you need to, like, you know, this is a therapy shot to say. I hear you, brother. You guys continue, but uh, no fire. Who many things? <laughs> Cool and that took full no more and that coffee cup from Pedifem and Capo. Correct. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you, Marco. Great feature from Marco. Let's take more calls and hear from the brothers and sisters, maybe. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. So nobody is calling yet. I'm sure they were trying. They gave up. There we go. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good evening. You're through to Prosperity Insights. Who are we speaking to? Uh, prosperity Insights. What? Lamo! What? Lamo! I hear you. Now, Mufika Po. Now, we're not too far. Go ahead uh, with your comment. My, my, my message is for the, for the gents. Mm. For uh, my, these young gentlemen. Mm. I just want to tell these gentlemen that they, they shouldn't be put by these. Uh, I call them pizza bandits. <laughs> <laughs> Did you call them pizza bandits? <laughs> they are pizza bandits. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> gentlemen, or gentlemen, mm. you are the prize. Put these women in check. Put your woman in check. Ladies are going to live according to your standards. That's right. And if you are going to put that standard so low, she's going to treat you like a simple like trash. Yep. <laughs> so if you raise your standard and you do not tolerate coffee you block her. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's <laughs> very therapeutic. Yeah, just block, block and move on. <laughs> block, delete and move on. Absolutely. Block, delete and move on. Absolutely. This, most of these gentlemen don't understand this uh, aspect, you know. Mm. If you if you are going to set a standard with any lady that you are going to go out with, tell her, me, I like A, B, C, and D, and this is what I tolerate. If she doesn't tolerate, let her move on. Yeah. Then why are you with her? Mm. It's as simple as just telling her to say, this is what I tolerate. And if she's a modest lady and you at all, she's going to follow what she wants. If Absolutely. She likes you Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, she, she's going to follow what your standard is. Mm. But if she's one of these pizza bandits, she's always going to be... Uh, giving you hell, giving you something to think about. You, you, you see? And yeah. she's always going to be demanding for something that you obviously can't offer her. No, you can't. Mm. No, I like <laughs> because that. Because it's, it's going to always be the next and the next and the next. I mm. want, I want, I mm. want. And I mm. believe uh, in a relationship, you're supposed to build each other. Yeah, it's you, give and take. You, you understand? You're supposed to build each other. Mm. But if you have this lady who just comes in your life and she doesn't offer anything at all, mm -mm. She, she, she just comes to us, of course, just, she always wants parties, parties. <laughs> yeah. On your, on your budget, it doesn't make sense. No. And a lot of these young men are falling for these uh, women who have got no value. Yeah. A, a woman is supposed to bring value in your life, but if she doesn't bring value, why are you keeping her? Mm. You know, it, it, I can see from a lot of married men, that have been uh, at a certain level of their life before they were married mm. and then they find this good woman and then their level is increased they look better they look you know they you can tell that this man has gained value from this woman yes but there are other women 
that when they come into your life, disaster. Hey, feeding this woman. She's a leech. She's a vampire. Why should you keep such a woman seriously, mm. gentlemen? Mm. You see? Why don't you like to rent a market? How? Why? Uh, eh? and... Please, gentlemen, most of these gentlemen, they should put these women in check. Mm. Tell her, this is what I told and this is what I believe in. You are the leader, mind you. <laughs> you are the leader. Woman, to say, me, this is what I want. And if she doesn't follow, on to the next. <laughs> she block it. <laughs> block, delete. We love the show. We love the show. <laughs> so we're gonna take maybe one more call and then Thank I'm you. gonna I, I wanna just hear feedback from Mwansa. I know she somebody, she's the woman, so maybe she can give us a perspective we're missing. But just before Mwansa comes on, let's take one last call. But we had some good feedback from you two gentlemen. Thank you very much for the feedback and further reinforcement of what we've been talking about. All right. Okay, so hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'm not a woman. Yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening Who are we speaking to? Uh, speaking to Petro from within Lusaka. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Matiuru. <laughs> Rev Red Card. Matiuru. Red Card in Poins, the boss. <laughs> Especially this new generation. Ah, where they are I want to agree with the first caller. But mostly we are spending almost one hour. Pali show you. Yeah. If, if it's possible, I'm every day. I'm every day. Content, <laughs> so what i'd like to do is just allow my sister my good sister here she's in the studio she's been sitting quietly just listening and just laughing away uh, but she's a lovely sister let me start by saying straight up this is this sister is nowhere near these these vampires and leeches i'm talking about bandits. no no no, no. these bandits pizza bandits no this is a wonderful sister but maybe just let's hear your take as a woman your perspective what do you say to this conversation in your in your few remarks okay Thank you for the clearance. Yes, not very important. <laughs> not very important. <laughs> I was actually like feeling hot here. Like. I hear you. <laughs> no, you are nowhere near that, my sister. Okay. Um, I, I want to say something. Mm. Yeah. So, I think I, I'd like to believe that uh, you are. This is like an awareness thing. Yeah. For a particular type of breed. Mm. And you want to make the men aware. Mm -hmm. Yes. But uh, um, I'd like to also uh, co uh, like reassure those women mm -hmm. who are just like in the good women out there. Yeah. That this does not relate to any of them in case yeah. some are thinking. Because, yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes the media has power. Mm -hmm. So you find that some men also, even in their five senses, <laughs> they start thinking, ah. Then you all find that the women are like all that. the women are like that, mm. so that even the ones that are good, yeah, you just find the car, the, the, the relationship starts taking a back turn, yeah. and you're like, ah, ah, What happened? But can't she? It's because they'll they be <laughs> saying that you are friends or come back, so even then they're like, eh, hey, my locker, Mona, and then you're like, ah, 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Shame. <laughs> yeah, so that's that I think basically that's that's my input and then I I really also feel um the 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 the, the breeds of uh, young girls the the desperation yeah. the need for material things yeah. sometimes yeah. can be very dangerous. Yeah. And uh I I I get worried when I have even nieces at university because I know that uh I pray to God that they'll finish university the same way they went they decent, went, yeah, decent and okay. And yeah, so I just don't know what can be done mm. to sort of bring this vice down. It's very difficult. You see that for me, I'll tell you once as we even close. This is where we're closing for those listening. For me, I throw the squ- this square on the absent fathers. For me, people just don't realize the power and harm of an absent father. If, if people understood how dangerous that is. And let me, let me explain a bit. For the young lady, for all the daughters out there, did you know? That their father is two things. Number one, their father is their first hero. Oh, yeah. And their father is their first crush. And I'm really going to say that again. Mm -hmm. Their father is their first hero and their father is their first crush. So if if this little young girl is crushing on her father, loves her father so much, and that father is reciprocating and providing the safety to show her what a real gentleman is. To show her how a gentleman treats their, uh, a woman by how they treat their wife. That girl has a good reference frame. When she goes out there, I mean, at the end of the day, children will be children. But yeah. the chances of them being deceived are lower because oh, yeah, they haven't true. got that vacuum. But many of these girls are actually looking for their fathers. This this is basically what's going on. They are basically looking for a father. So some could even be hurt and abused and yes, they haven't healed. So yes, they, it's so like revenge. Still, you know what I mean? Huh? So they are looking for that father figure. So for me, the blame always goes back to the men. The men, but the problem is that the men are also coming from a place of serious hurt because they too were victims of toxic absent fathers as well. So the cycle and the pain continues. People argue with me and say, there's no such thing as generational curses. What I'm telling you right now is a generational curse. Forget about ancestors. No, I'm talking about real scenarios in people's homes. These people get saved, but they are cutting that hurt. Oh, yeah. They are saved, born again, but they are still hurting because the father was absent. Or they are dealing with a toxic parent. They are dealing with a mother who is so angry because of whatever she went through with the father. And so her reference for men is horrible. You see, you see where I'm coming from? Yeah, yeah. That's the problem. So the societal breakdown of the family is the reason for all these dysfunctional girls. So these ones are one type. There's another type who are totally destroyed. Them, they're just drunkards. You know, they are open party. All the men in the, all the guys in the university, just that's the girl to go to when you have a shortage. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So totally messed up girls. So this is, this is the absence of fathers. And it's a very touchy topic. So obviously I just have to end there. So the key lies in, if you're listening to me and you're a father, if you're listening to me and you're a man, where are you? That's it. The question God asked Adam, where are you? It's not like God didn't know where Adam was. So it was a rhetorical question, right? Where are you? You think God didn't know where Adam was? He knew where he was. He but the question is, is he where he's supposed to be? So, Father, where are you? Fathers listening to me right now, where are you? Are you there for your families? Are you there for your wives? Are you there for your children? Have you made yourself a responsible man? If you impregnated some kachik a long time ago, what have you done about that child? You are the people perpetuating this pain. These two my girls are simply looking for fathers. That's what they're doing. So, so it's the most messed up way to do it, but believe me, they are all looking for fathers. So those are very heavy words to close with, considering the rant I was doing, <laughs> but it's the reality. And so on that note, uh, thanks, Mwansa, for your feedback. Very powerful. Ladies, there are wonderful women out there. I can testify with Mwansa, uh, not just my own wife, but I know wonderful women that have transformed us. A lot of what people admire in these husbands, they forget that it's the wives that have transformed those guys. So what you're looking at is a finished product of a woman. 
a real, not a vampire and a leech, <laughs> but a woman. And so when that woman has done a good job, the guy is looking good. The guy somewhere, instead of being serious, the guy becomes an idiot. He leaves the good woman that has made him who he is, and he goes after the vampire and the leech. Shame on you. Shame on you. If you're listening to me right now, shame on you for leaving that wonderful wife of yours and going after those to my pizza bandit vampire leeches of women. Just because she gives you pleasure for 10 seconds, you think that's a real woman. She will leave you as fast as the word leave when she finds someone better than you or when you lose your job and your money. That's the truth about those women. Go back to your wife. <clears throat> Be a real father for those children. On that note, back to you, Nono. Have a great day, guys. Thank Adios. You. Thank you, Rev. All right, there you have it.